You know, it's always been the ordinary people that have ever always inspired me. Albert Lexi, a man with a tremendous mental challenge. Simple shoe shine guy, shining shoes at $2 a pair and saving the tip money to give to mothers and fathers who couldn't pay their medical bills at the children's hospital. And Albert Lexi, singing and shining, has donated $150,000 for moms and dads that can't take care of the problem. Stand up, I need to change the world and I need to make it better. And out of a nine-year-old kid, and the same with Albert Lexi, they're burned into my heart. And then there's my mother and father. Yeah, my mailman dad, carrying that mail on his back for 29 years. They gave me my compass. But they also said, Johnny, dream big. Change the world, Johnny. Dream big, change the world. Let nothing be undone. And mom and dad, I don't know if you're watching. Maybe you are, and maybe you're not. But I'm keeping the truth with you, mom and dad. God bless you. And then, you know, there's that old saying about marrying up. Huh? What about, huh? say about this? Yeah, my wife Karen, she's been my rock, she's my support, and no decision in my life gets made without talking to her. And we try to teach our kids the same thing that her parents taught her and my parents taught me, dream big and change the world. And little Emma and Reese, they're sitting behind us. You know, what I like to say is... You don't change the world with talk, and as a daddy and a mommy, you don't inspire your kids with language alone. You need to stand up and do it and be a good example. And kids, I hope I'm being that for you tonight. What a turnout, huh? What a turnout tonight. And this takes me back to 1977, when a long-haired kid had a dream of going into public service. Same thing in 1982, and I have to tell you, was always the people. Always the people that showed up at the headquarters. Always the people who were there late at night, licking the envelopes, making the phone calls, going door to door. And it'd be 10, 11 o'clock at night. And there were women there who had families. And they would always encourage me, and they'd say, John, we can do it. And I'd come in from a full day of walking door to door. They'd say, you get that spirit. You get moving because we're here for you. And we're building a team to make a difference and change the way the world works. And let me tell you, it was those people, and some of them are here tonight. They're in my mind's eye. They're in my heart. They're the ones that I always had to stand up for. Once we had a successful election, I had no right to sell out. I had no right to engage in rotten compromise. I had no right to kick problems down the road because I was standing for them. I've got a number of friends here tonight who I served in politics with, and they always knew it. Stay out of John's way because he's got a team that expects a lot of him, and he's going to do the best that he can. 
Well, you know, I think we accomplished our goals. That team that came together, I have met so many of them, to give me a big hug and say, John, thanks for allowing us to be a team and doing these things together. So we balanced the budget for the first time since man walked on the moon, paid down the largest amount of the national debt in modern history, and cut taxes. And they said it couldn't be done, and we told them we'll do it. 